Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All Sun, Moon and Rising Aquarians for the month of July. This is the seventh month of the year, 2000 July. This is the first month of the second half of the year 2017 for you Aquarians. I want to say please listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising sign Aquarians and listen to um, the general readings general readings is um, good for you guys okay in this month of July it's going to be your energy vibration of the stars you Aquarians love is in the year for you Aquarians also so it's going to be extremely wonderful um, um, there's going to be uh, the connection of soulmate and twin seal also and um, remember um, don't go away um, check out your Sun moon and rising zodiac sign behind this video okay it's just gonna flow in it okay alrighty you Aquarians what we have here we have four weeks in this month and for you Aquarians we have the fire energies the fire 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 energies we have your energy vibration also on in the third week which is wonderful and then we have the energy of the pentacles which is bringing balance uh, in the last week this is good because the zodiac energy vibration of this month is going to be uh, we're beginning with water and fire and your air sign okay the first week for you Aquarius you have the seven of ones let me put my glasses on um, you have the seven the five of ones so there is going to be conflicts in the first week whatsoever is happening you have the energy vibration of the five of one conflicts in the first week so whatsoever is happening in the first week be aware of this um, there is going to be conflicts in the first week stay away from this conflicts uh, you people just stay away from the conflicts let people um, resolve whatever situation okay the other energy that the conflicts bring is deceitful the number seven energy so this conflict somebody tries to get away with something there's deceit and envy that is going on in this first week for you Aquarian so be aware of this but whatever this deceit and envy was that people were trying to get away with because the blue is the energy vibration of Archangel Michael and this deceitfulness that they were trying to because here's the conflict is as if some people will find out that some people were trying to get away with something and the deceitful and this conflicts is coming from jealousy jealousy and that is in um, the general the general reading of guilt uh, um, that is coming up guilt uh, deceitfulness yes that's sort of a thing so be aware you Aquarians in the first week that you have the energy of the five of one conflicts uh, and this conflicts is about uh, um, deceit and uh, envy because there's a lot of people that can bring this and en the energy vibration and you need to release this deceit and envy because you're only breaking your own energy vibration with that we have another blue so your color for the first week is going to be blue you will have expansion expansion so this is going to be good um, with this um, expansion so the blue color Archangel Michael is working with you people especially with the deceitfulness so call upon Archangel Michael if you find out that people are being jealous and deceitful ask Archangel Michael to use a sword um, to cut away that which you no longer need okay so after he does that with this deceitfulness then we're going to have the expansion we're going to have expansion and with expansion the energy of uh, a good friend a f um, friendship is going to come out of this because with everything that is negative something good always come out and some people are always finding and this friend is going to be a friend who is going to be there and a friend is going to stand and support you through this week okay so what's the whatever is happening whatsoever deceitfulness whatsoever drama that is happening around you this drama is going to bring extension and it's going to bring you at the end of the day people who are going to be there protecting you so this is going to be extremely extremely a uh, powerful um, um, month that is going to come in for you guys okay so 
after everything um, this energy of the deceitfulness um, a new energy vibration is coming I'm saying to you Aquarians out there love is in the air love is in the air there is so much love yeah there is a bit of negative energy here but um, this negative energy is just somebody being very jealous but we have the heart the, the love energy in the heart reading is so foremost here okay as we look at this and we're going forward the four of ones is here in the second week another um, fire week the four of ones is here so you have a strong foundation whatsoever situation that is going on around you whatsoever is happening around you you have a very strong foundation and you're going to overcome whatsoever it is because in relationship love is in the hair and I'm telling you people um, there is going to be a little deceptive things in your relationship so some people will find that you're insecure you're not ready for a relationship some people will think as uh, there will be um, finding out that um, there will be a third party on because there's the devil the third party is always the devil people so uh, some people will realize that um, there's somebody else uh, uh, um, in your relationship so be aware, aware of this sort of a situation okay so insecurity is going to play a role in your relationship and it's going to be your private your personal relationship your intimate relationship the sense of insecurity is going to play there and for some people you're going to find out that there is a little third party there there is somebody else in your relationship okay the energy of the devil is in reverse thank the Lord it is in reverse so that, you know and you know have you seen these guys you have the devil twice coming up because he's right here in this card also you know he's blocking this this little guy to open up his heart the, the devil is blocking him and and but he's here in the reverse form so uh, you know whoever this person is this man or woman it, it can be a man or a woman you're going to open up your heart you're going to release yourself of the insecurity because whoever wants to connect with you is very good it's going to be a strong foundation it's going to be a wonderful marriage it's going to be a perfect perfect marriage so Whoever wants to connect with you, open up yourself and let go of uh, you know holding back because the energy of the devil is going uh, is, is is not going to be there affecting you. Okay, and, and you know sometimes it's hard. Uh, I can't say it's one of the most easiest thing, but once if you open up your heart, if you open up your heart, if you are insecure, if you have been beaten down, if your heart has been broken. And you're feeling insecure and you're not trusting a situation and it's not that you're not trusting the situation but you think oh my god this guy's too good to be true oh my gosh this girl is too good to be true it's okay honey give it a chance because some of the times the people who are there for us and right people we always close ourselves off to them and they are the one who the universe sent in for us so we need to be understanding and we need to be aware of what is going on okay in the third week we have the energy of um, let me, let me um, look at this we have the energy of the ten of cups the energy of the ten of cups okay the energy vibration of the ten of cups is a wonderful wow <laughs> okay I will say it afterwards the energy vibration of the ten of cups is a wonderful uh, positive so this is what I'm saying to you people it's all about love in the month of July for you people whatever is happening this month of July is going to affect you in the love sense it's going to affect some people in business sense um, because but it's more about love and, and 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 some it's going to be with business connection with um, you know the other person on the other side business connection and that sort of a thing so be aware of what is happening and um with the energy of the ten of cups which is wonderful it's going to be a wonderful successful um situation at home it's going to be a perfect alignment love is going to be flowing in your home and it's going to be a perfection and look at this color because this color 
it's, it's, it's the color of your base chakra and it's perfection so you know with the red you're feeling your energy you're flowing with the energy you're going with the energy flows and this is going to be so powerful so wonderful and with this um energy of the lovers being here the perfection of what was happening you're going to see with a ten of cups that it's going to be a very 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 prosperous this third week for you guys are going to be just wonderful triumph oh my god yes 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 triumph so here we are in the third week this is going to be the most wonderful profound week for you Aries uh, Aquarius sorry it, because the energy of triumph is here so a lot of you whatever you're going through you're going to be triumphant over it okay you're going to find the passion you're going to find the passion within you whatever your financial situation is it's going to turn around in this week because you're going to be extremely triumphant here over and what I love about your reading is uh, um, as I go forward I'm going to tell you what is it that is so beautiful about your reading as we go to the last and final week we also have the ten of cups but yet still the ten of pentacles people the ten of pentacles is here this is a wonderful wonderful energy vibration so you have ten of cups in the third week and in the fourth week you have the ten of pentacles you um, Aquarians and it's going to be a wonderful wonderful energy a vibration for you guys uh, but yet still with the ten of Pentacles there is going to be emotional withdrawal emotional withdrawal but it's okay and this comes because it's a bittersweet whatever this ten of Pentacles ten of Pentacles is really a lot of money abundance is 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 is, is, is the security of your family um, but you're going to be in a withdrawal mode and the number eight the, the sign of infinity the number eight which is uh, financial abundance is here with the ten of Pentacles but it's going to be a bittersweet and that is true because when people are successful then they have a bittersweet because you will have people who hate them and uh, and, and want to break them down and you will have people who you know so it's a bittersweet so here you are in a little bit of withdrawal you're 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 you're, you're you know you're being with yourself and you're having a personal withdrawal and it's always whenever you're positive whenever you're sometimes you're just positive you're just there with yourself and there are people that comes in to break you down so it's going to be a little bittersweet with the ten of ten of Pentacles but you still have the ten of Pentacles it's better to have the ten of Pentacles a bittersweet but yet still you have uh, what um, money um, in, in your pocket bittersweet is always when you are a huge success and people are disliking you for it and it's true because you have uh, the jealous woman and it doesn't have to be a woman it can be a man but whenever this energy comes up in a reading and it's obviously for some people for some women you'll be having in the fourth week with a ten of Pentacles the bittersweet the withdrawal because of this woman you are going to withdraw because it's as if you're giving her everything that is possible under the face of the Sun but she's never happy okay so um, in, 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 in the fourth week it's going to be a week of bittersweet for you because this woman brings the energy vibration of jealousy and hate towards you because you have been successful in something so be aware and this can be a old bitter woman so um, um, yeah you know who can be like that I'm supposed to be positive people so there we are so this is why you carry the energy of bittersweet and you also have the energy of withdrawal it's because of that energy of this little see as small as the card that is how in the hatred and the jealousy comes up oh wow okay so as we look at your week further and we're looking to see so we have deceit and envy in the first week and we have um, withdrawal in the last week because of this woman here and 
the number energies for you you have two tens which is very very positive so let's go let's do the numbers yeah I need to write down your numbers <laughs> okay I'm serious people all right okay I know because every time but you have to see with me ladies and gentlemen I have so many things to do okay please write this down we have the number four energies um, in this month we have um, four so it's always four and 44 we have the number 10 energies also and we have the number seven energy okay so for you guys we have um, four seven and ten so that's your three numbers for this this month four seven and ten okay whatever the message here I'm gonna start reading the message for you guys let me see if I have enough time um, four is the angel is the is the is the angel seven is that you're on the good part you're 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 going in in, in, in the good the uh, of the right part in your life and um, ten is a, always new beginnings it's always a start of something it's always new beginnings so this is going to be wonderful okay um, um, for the love section, ladies and gentlemen, and because I, I, I need to stress on these ladies and gentlemen, because there's a lot of people said, but you're always speaking to the men. What happened to the women? Okay. The sun and the moon. Let's see what's going to happen for you guys. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, let's see. I'm separating, separating, separating. Okay, so, um, Pluto and Mercury, um, Pluto and Mercury. So, as we are going to look, Saturn also, as we're going to look at your month and see what kind of month it's going to be, it's going to be a wonderful month, perhaps from the first week. The first week, again, is, the, is an end cap of this. The first week, it's going to be um, conflicts, but yet still, you're going to find out about deceitfulness and envy, and that is going to heal something so that something new will come out. So, uh, in the first week, there is going to be connection with a lot of love and a lot of people who are going to connect with you on a high energy vibration. In the second week, it's going to be a strong, you're going to have a strong foundation with your partner, whoever, whether in business or in love or in friendship. Uh, it's all about the partnership. It's all about the friendship in this month of July. And we are seeing that the energy of a lot of um, invitations, uh, a lot of people will be connecting with people. A lot of people want to connect from with the heart chakra because as uh, you listen to uh, the general readings, um, there is going to be an, a huge uh, explosion of sexuality um, beginning from July. So a lot of people are going to feel attracted to people who they wouldn't even think of being attracted to so this sort of energy is coming in because there's new portals and new energies that are opening so as we look at this then we are seeing insecurities but yet still the invitations are going to be there and it's going to happen there's a lot of people who are going to ask um, people to go in business with them or to be their marriage partner a whole lot of marriage will be uh, people will be asking um, each other to move in and um, new business victory and success whatever your business whatever your house was whatever your endeavor was uh, there is going to be a lot in the third week is your is your is your best week okay so for for you um, um, Aquarians the third week is going to be your best your extremely best best week of all okay don't forget the third week as we look at the the um the invitation of love and people 
coming together you're going to um, meet a lot of people who you're going to really connect with a lot of soulmate relationships that the love the hearts are all in your reading so there are people who are going to um, want to connect but feel insecure and there are people who are just going to open up their hearts and the the soulmate and the twin flame in uh, the energy of love is going to be a wonderful positive um, reading for you guys okay the last week is a bit of a, a, a sort of a week that uh, um, you the victory came in in the third week uh, and success and um, the, the last week is as if with that victory and success there's a lot of people who are hating on you you don't have to have outside victory but you can have inner lick victory a victory that you can say okay you know I was afraid to go outside now I'm no longer I was afraid to do this but I've overcome it I, you when by overcoming what your uh, your fear is uh, you are going to see that a lot of changes are going to be happening in your life but in the fourth week it's going to be a week where you're so successful but there's a there's a lot of haters there's a lot of haters you are extremely successful you're financially successful in your life but there's still a lot of haters the haters are just popping out of the woodworks you know and for some people it's going to be a bit of sweet in the fourth week and then you are just going to take time off to heal your heart okay because you know this little you know this is one of the cards that I think okay all right everything is a um, polarity of uh, the light and the darkness and this woman it's it's it's, it's like this woman is a page of a sword you know that little yeah that little mischief maker this is her in this um, you know reading so whoever this woman is the snake energy it is you know and it is 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 like the cancers or that sort of a you know water energy that can um, on land and air you know is that sort of a you know even but be aware because this person whoever this person is is like someone um, is really hating you to see how far you have come so be aware of who this person is because they can create um, a lot of karma in your life uh, um, if you so um, we are uh, so love is going to be profound um, it is the energy hot love is coming in for you guys this is wonderful whenever this shows up in a reading because this is your foremost standing on top of your reading looking down and it's like it's gonna be a month of love I'm looking for my soulmate and my twin flame so it's gonna be beautiful I'm sorry I I love love because it's the most beautiful thing so I love when people find their soulmate and twin seal okay and do not get caught up because for you guys is really true love do not get caught up in this uh, sexual revolution it's like an influx of uh, energies that are going to come in and manipulates you through because energies on the beams can come in and much many people lately they don't have to speak to you but awaken certain aspect of you because when um, certain points certain um, energy point and light bed point in your in your 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 body is awakened you feel the urge of sexuality and then you have a gulf of sexual that the, the people are and you're thinking oh my god did I really or you know that sort of a thing so be aware because these energies that are coming in I am telling you I have to hold on strong sometimes and I tend to stay away from these energies because I know they're coming through and you know I've been like hypo I'm extremely hypo so you know be aware of this be aware of what you do people do not let your body um, and take you astray okay and if you do do that you can ask for healing and ask for forgiveness to heal your body okay I can just tell you what is going to happen and what is going to come through it's going to be um, a time of sexual thing and then you're going to go out there and then you're going to do it and then you're going to feel bad later so you you, you are in this sort of a the, um, um, 
a, a conflict with yourself you know and if it's not a via sexually it's via eating that you're overeating yourself and you get fat and you think yeah but I don't know and and you have all these crave and you don't know how to deal with them so um, be aware of that okay I am going forward and I'm going to look to see what is happening for the zodiac this is the energy vibration for the zodiac let's see what is happening for the Aquarius Sun people? Let's see what is happening for the Aquarius Sun people. Who do they have to deal with? So another one, yes, Aquarius Moon people. Who do they have to deal with in the month of July? Okay, and let's see what for influence because with every sign and everyone. There is an influence that is going on. Let's see what is um, the planetary aspect that is going to affect you guys uh, for the sun sign. It's going to be Uranus. That's not bad. You know, that, that's not bad. And then we have Venus. Love. Okay. I'm sorry. I love when this happens because, like, I've been given a reading and I'm specifically saying you need to look at that. And then, boom. At last of the reading who came up so as I said it was all about the love for you guys in this month and here we have Venus for the moon sign people Venus the the the, the woman of, of, of love coming in so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be beautiful okay here we are the Sun people these are the people who were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. so you are the Sun people what is happening for you Sun people we you are going to have the energy of dealing with the Aries people okay for you Sun people so it can be an Aries Sun Moon and rising sign so for you Aries um, people who were born in the day you're going to have a, a situation that is happening um, with the Aries and there is going to be a situation that is going to happen with the Aries so the Aries could be your meeting um, a new guy because I have two out for the Sun people so it could be an Aries man that you're meeting and you're connecting with because their sexuality of this woman so you know you and it's the week of love so you could be meeting and you yourself could be meeting this Aries man so you know whatever is playing out for you but play good use a condom um and as we go forward we have the energy of Taurus so we have to you know we, we have the heart and the fire so these earth and fire people are bringing a balance to you Sun people which is which is really not bad because you know you're an air sign you Sun and you really need to have some balance and these are the people who you can really have good relationships with um, the you know the the, the Aries and the Taurus people which is very good and they're right behind each other so they they complete each other for, because one is uh, the Taurus is or the earth and uh, um, the Aries is uh, is, 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 is uh, the fire people the passionate people you know so some of you will be connecting with uh, um, earth people and uh, the Taurus is I can tell you something about the Taurus is because they're earth people and if they really love you they're going after you and the the the, the areas are the same too they're really gonna go after you so you know expect that these men or women are going to find themselves in your life and it's all about the love it's all about seductive uh, sed um, the seductive part and this is going to this this kind of revolution is going to end up in uh, January next year before um, it ends okay and then you have to work with the planet of Uranus, you sun people. So you sun people are going to work with the planet. So for the sun people, you're going to work with the planet of Uranus. There's an um, what situation that you need um, to learn from this planet or people who are rule on the, this planet. Okay, so it's all about uh, Uranus. And I can tell you uh, who, um, so you are aware when they... Um, enter your life or who um, is rule under the planet of Uranus and that is going to be um, ah, you Aries or, or 
Aries, the Aries, um, you Aries, and uh, you will have situation with Cancers because uh, at the first, um, um, the first beginning of the month, you have to deal with the water energies, uh, you know, and uh, um, um, with the energy of uh, the air, you're ruled by um, Uranus. So for the Sun people, your own planet is going to help you and teach teach you some lessons okay and Venus uh, Venus is the liberals are coming in for you guys you're going to connect with the liberals are they here no you have the Gemini and thing there oh yeah but the Gemini's are turning okay for the moon sign people these are the people who were born from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. so if you were born in the night from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. in the morning, you are a moon sign person. And what is happening for you is that you have a situation with the Geminis. So, woo! There is going to be powerful love for you guys because you're having um, a situation with um, the Geminis and the Cancers and the Geminis. So the Cancers, you know, for the, the moon people in the beginning of the month, you're going to have a lot of situation with the Gemini. So this is going to be a positive, positive sense of things happening for you guys. So this is going to be wonderful. So um, what is happening is that... Sorry had to break for a minute family 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 don't I know it okay so we are going forward and we were looking at yes the um, the moon what is happening for um, the the moon people so you're going to have a situation with a with a Gemini so the hair and the water sign okay and this is all going to have to do with the Venus the planet of Venus but you know what is so strange is that you can all see the changes of all of these zodiac coming in because um, the moon energy you have to deal with um, the um, yeah Venus and it's all about love so whatsoever is happening with you moon people okay because I you really 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 need to get this out um, the moon people are going to deal with the planet of Venus but you also are going to connect with the um, the crave people and um, the Gemini so the craves are water people the the craves are water people there are the crabs there are the yeah the craves so and 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 then you have the Gemini who are the here the the, 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 the two um, the two energy people because you know the Gemini's are twins are the twins so you know we can't be upset with the Gemini's because they all they have split personality because they're actually your sister sign connecting with them can be good it depends on who you are and what's in your birth chart because if you are an um, Aquarius uh, moon sign person and you connect with the Gemini's it's not that bad because depends in the it depends all on what is happening in our birth chart okay so if we have um, planets the same planets in our birth chart and it can be a very positive relationship because then we will actually understand what we're dealing with and who we are but here these people you're going to have to deal with also the Li the deliberance because the liberals are also um, ruled by Venus the Librans and the Tauruses, because the Sun people are going to deal with the Tauruses. So um, the Tauruses are, were, are ruled by Venus, and the Librans are ruled by Venus. So this is going to be an, a really exciting, um, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh boy, and 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 the Librans, you know, I I I must tell you guys this because it's your it's your sister sign the liberals but they, they can be very very seductive okay the Tauruses they are going for you they're going to uh, you know so 
whatsoever is happening and the Gemini's are also like that too okay but not the Gemini's caps whether the Gemini's are caps at the beginning or the end of the month um, the end of the month Gemini's caps then they are really Gemini's but carrying the energy vibration of the cancers but when we look at uh, the cancers and the Gemini's that you are going to have such an an, an explosive uh, you know you need, really need to be aware and working with the, the Taurus because the Taurus is is ruled by the planet of Venus and the Librans and that's why Taurus and Librans can have very good relationship because um, they are ruled on the the same planetary system so this is this is really wonderful and this is really powerful because you guys you are going to connect with your own uh, sister sign the Gemini's and the water sign which is in the first two weeks of this month for you and and you know connecting with a cancer in this month is the most positive things because they have the zodiac energy in the first part of the month and yet still what is happening is that they are also ruled by the moon so this is going to be profound it's like um it's it's it's, it's like Oh, the skies will be falling with love, you people. Love, love is in the air. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, I'm loving this for you guys. Okay, I hope because Venus is the planet of love. And I can tell you, if a Taurus man love you, no, nah. <laughs> he loves you. Okay. He really he's gonna go for you he's gonna love you he's gonna do everything for you he's gonna wash he's gonna cook and the Gemini's are the same too okay so um you know you women out there you men out there you know by connecting with these people be aware for the Libras because the Libras they're they, you know they like sleeping around you know they they uh, well they not all of them because every time I get yeah but we not like that no not all of them <laughs> you have the players the Libras who are the players so you know for some people too it's going to be if you're having a situation if you're a Aquarius moon person and you have a situation with a lawsuit uh, um, you, you will win through the aspect of uh, somebody like you you know somebody you know that sort of a thing you will um, be helped when you go out uh, um, through uh, because Venus is working with you uh, you moon people and Venus with the um, the energy of the moon this is just you know for the people who were born in night and and remember you moon people are the best psychics okay once you were born in the night you're the best psychics um, that's why I don't um, really believe in um, people giving Torah classes and that sort of a thing if you're going to give class to teach somebody something that means they weren't meant for it okay if you need to teach somebody something they weren't meant for it okay um, for the rest I want to say it's going to be and it's looking like a wonderful month and um, the last card I'm going to um, ask I, I, I so love these cards there they're so positive is the you know you're using your finger energy and we have this one for you um, Aquarius and it says um, money ratam mudra and assistance is spiritual union and balance so this is good because the love energies are in the love energies are in it's the number 39 card so and um, it's oneness okay and it says the benefits is supports and balance all of the system of the body directs breathing and awareness throughout the body opens crown chakra so this is good um, instruction then index finger so I will leave the instruction here and uh, focus I experience the oneness of everything I experience the oneness of everything this is the card this is um, the Mudaracha and it is the card of 
oneness and this is this is this is extremely good the card of oneness is a wonderful powerful energy of, of oneness it is when we connect and when we experience what it is to feel um, the same feelings of a human being and somebody else uh, and really you know connect with them at a higher energy vibration and understand that only love is real and that we're not better than anyone else but yet still we're exchanging the same energy vibration and I want to leave you with this beautiful message I am aware of this video being long and yeah I'm sorry I had to break the video uh, my family keep on calling one call and the other sister call so <laughs> yeah family I love them but they're going to ruin my life but yes <laughs> So I want to say to each and every person out there, if even you can't connect with your family, there is always other people out there who is not really your family, but they, they are like family. So I'm sending you guys a lot of love. It's going to be a roller coaster month, but it's going to be full with love. And I'm asking you Aquarius, do not overdo it. If you do not want to, um, um, get pregnant please please use a condom okay and um, have uh, you know respect for yourself it's going to be a sexual revolution coming on but it's all because of the energy's vibration is awakening um, specific chakras in our bodies and I want to say to each and every person out there I'm sending you a lot of love pure love and light and I'm wishing you a wonderful month please like share these videos thumbs up and I'm out.